We are currently traveling through all eight regions of Vietnam and after exploring the Mekong Delta oh, and then getting a taste of Saigon That is amazing! We've headed east to cap off our time in the southeast region in the beautiful beach town of Hue Ne. So this is interesting. Our guided tour started by driving a block or two down the road and then just dropping us off at this stream. He doesn't speak very much English, which we totally understand, but he kind of just dropped us, off. dropped us off and said, you go. You go there and come back. Can you in the water? Yeah. I'm literally walking in the water. We can go about 45 minutes. 45 minutes? Yeah, you go there and come back. Okay. 45 minutes? Yeah. Wow. And it's like, where are we? Why is this so special? Like, it doesn't really tell you what's significant about <laughs> this place. So, yeah, it was just kind of odd how we said, all right, you go now, 45 minutes. See you when you get back, kind of thing. Hmm. There's a water closet. A water closet. I hope it's not running off into this. <laughs> yeah. It seems to just go on forever, like we're just going. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, look at that. The cool thing about this, I suppose, though, is that like you don't need a guided tour to come do this. No. You can just come find the ferry stream and then walk down and get a good glimpse of these sand dunes. Look at this big red sand dunes wow. that we just came across. Unbelievable. So cool. Kind of reminds me almost of where we're from. There's Drum Heller and they've got all of like the Badlands with the big hoodoos or whatever. That's what it's yes. called. Hoodoos. Thank you. That's what they're called. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely gotta put the glasses down. <laughs> Hold your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we swear it's a great experience. <laughs> God, <it's> great. <laughs> we just get like a face full of sand. <laughs> this place is awesome. Look at that so sand. Cool. The multicolored sand is just unbelievable. It looks awesome. And it's so cool how it changes. You got like the really intense red and then suddenly it's incredibly white. But it's kind of like hard to tell exactly where it ends and when to turn around. It's like you just keep kind of going and going. I almost feel like I'm ready for the next spot, but don't want to miss what could be just around the bend. So we just keep on walking. Got some karaoke. Well, I don't think we made it all the way to the end, but it's kind of hard to tell if or what the end is because there's no signs or anything like that. But our guide said we'd be here for about 45 minutes and we just looked at the clock. It's been a little over an hour. So we turned around, not sure what there is at the end. We passed this other family that said there's like a small waterfall at the end, but by the look on their faces, it wasn't like we necessarily missed out on anything. Yeah, they said it really wasn't a big deal at all. It's definitely easy to get lost track of time when you don't have your guide along with you, kind of ushering you along yeah. and telling you it's time to go. So I would say that's the only kind of like, not negative, it's not really a negative comment, but how we just kind of dumped you off and then said, go and enjoy. Yeah, it's the first that's ever happened on any tour we've yeah. been on. And again, it's not a negative, it's just like, we've just never had that happen. So we kind of lost track of time, sorry. Yeah, and like we said, <laughs> we've got a number of stops here today, so. Got to get on to the next. Wow. Very cool. It almost reminds me of like an old Viking fleet or something. Yeah, I can see what you mean. <laughs> so I've seen these round boats advertised as like a tourist thing up in Hanoi I believe it is but they're actually used for fishing here 
and so it's like a round boat and then they can lean on the side and they can go like any side that they want and just paddle you see a couple outside our hotel in the distance you can actually see them fishing and it's very interesting shape of a boat yeah and Not i had no idea that just down the street was like hundreds of them it's crazy So not exactly as advertised. We booked a Jeep tour through the sand dunes and they take you by Jeep to the sand dunes where you can then rent another Jeep for an additional cost to ride through the sand dunes. So a little bit of a money grab situation if you ask me. And you know one thing about it too is we may over the last couple tours have been kind of hot and cold. This is the one of the best tours we've ever done. This was a bit of a disappointment. The honest truth is we just want to be honest and transparent with you guys. We don't want to come off as everything's amazing. Or everything sucks. Like, yeah, not everything sucks, but also not everything is amazing or as advertised. And so we'd rather be honest and transparent with you guys so that, you know, we can save you the same disappointment that we're kind of feeling right now. I just, just feel a bit duped. Yeah. When it was in like advertised. But now that we're here, we gotta go. Yeah, we didn't didn't plan the whole day to just sit and watch people from like a kilometer and away. And I think we'll feel even more upset if we don't do it. So we have to. So we gotta. I think do it. we took our cash. Yeah. Okay, what do we do? ATV. ATV might be really cool. Sure, yeah. Cool, let's do an ATV. Let's do it. You ready? You can definitely feel it. It, it is, is so windy. windy up here. See, we've seen other videos where people are doing like the sandboarding and stuff like that. It's kind of what we had in mind, but it's more of like the sleds here. Like so, a magic carpet. Yeah, a magic carpet ride. But just no Aladdin. Instagram versus reality moment right now. That's for sure. <laughs> she feels seems so defeated. fun job driving quads like that all day i would love that <laughs> yeah. especially in these sand dunes with these views oh, wow so beautiful this is amazing <laughs> my god look at this i feel like i'm in the sahara desert right now like where am i egypt this is so cool this is so worth it right here yeah 
Okay, so we did get a little bit of a money grab situation in the beginning, but I think it was definitely worth the upcharge yeah. for sure. You, this experience is so cool. You couldn't get this. You could not get this from like the entrance parking lot. You could maybe walk a freaking mile. Yeah, you could walk up To get up, this probably. part, but you couldn't walk up to get that part. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, the first section, there's no way. <sighs> I mean, there's a way, but you're walking like <laughs> two miles to get out there. This is just incredible. What an experience. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Look how just like, like the wind just makes it this perfectly like groomed sand, eh? Yeah, it just like shapes it like it's been carved out. And look at this, you can just start a little landslide by kicking down. Wow. And I don't know if you can see, but like the cliff of the sand. Just right at the edge. Don't want to take the wrong step because we'd be going all the way down to that lake like that one woman falling down the hill on the other side. Wow, look at that cliff, you can see it. Oh cool, riding all the way up. I kind of want to go rolling down, but I also yeah. don't. <laughs> You're probably going rolling into the lake. Yeah. <sighs> we've still got another one to go to. Yeah, we do. We're headed now from the white to the red sand dunes. Let's go! Let's go now. All right, we have made it to the red sand dunes in Rene, and this one looks gorgeous in it the does. sunset. And this one, you just park on the side of the road and everyone just walks up it. Yeah, so it's not as much of like a worry to rent another vehicle or whatever. You just kind of walk mm -hmm. right up. One thing our driver was saying though, that you want to be a little careful if you come here because there's some local kid snatchers that'll yeah. try to steal some of your valuables. Yeah. So make sure you got everything zipped up and locked away. But really excited to catch the sunset here at the Red Sand Dunes. It's going to be beautiful. Let's go. Let's go. Wow, it's like a burnt orange. Ooh, this sand is like cool. It's been in the shade. Yeah, it's nice and cool on the toesies. The other one was hot. And this one's not as compact. You kind of like <gasps> slip into it a little bit. Kind of hard to walk up. <laughs> We've certainly been getting our exercises in the last couple of adventures, yeah. that's for sure. We're close. Ish. <laughs> 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 We're like struggling to get up hill, this hill. Meanwhile, these guys are just running by. <laughs> we made it! <laughs> so beautiful up here. Look at that! Wow! It's beautiful. And the sun is setting. I think it's time for us to say goodbye for the day. Time to check out. Muine has been absolutely amazing. We're going from the beach to the highlands. Off to Dalat next. We'll see you there. Bye.